usual problem with the wiki is where the content gets uh, scattered and, and disappears or just it's not visible. So uh, one of the things that we want to work on is to have a, a much better portal for the international community, for all the communities, all the uh, user groups that they can access, where you can go, it's one reference point to see who's active, what's, what's happening, where, uh, at what time, and what's, um, who's the contact point and, and all of that. So that's, I hope, will be um, available so very soon. Oh, and we have here. That's true, you're right. Yeah, you, you too, I see every now and then. Um, yeah, and we have a mailing list with all the um, all the coordinators of the user groups. It's still, I mean, I know that it's not super, the most visible and most easy, most friendly to, to users. Um, so we're improving on that, but at the moment it, it's hard to believe that it's happening. Um, so lists.openstack.org has got the full list and it's called community as well. And uh, the OpenStack uh, dash community channel. Yeah, I share some experience to uh, how to kick off your local community at first. Uh, I, I think the best way is to bring back what you see and what you learn in this summit, oh. including the slide that be the first topic you can share your local community. Then as for the promotion channel, you can try to connect with the local uh, organizations like some kind of industrial association. Uh, for my experience in Taiwan, we connect with uh, uh, IT uh, industry uh, association. Then we just promote through their channels that you can get very, uh, very good uh, uh, response. And you can get at least a lot of people can and uh, uh, hear what you say. And the third one is instead of inviting some uh, uh, figurehead from, <laughs> from the state to, to your country, you also can try to uh, invite some uh, community leaders nearby. Maybe, uh, for example, we, we in Asia, we, we uh, have invited uh, guest speakers from Japan user group, and we try to invite some maybe in the future from China user group then to share with each other, that's another way for you to promote and uh, to increase your visibility. I, I like that suggestion. I like it's a it's a very nice actionable item for for everybody that want to take one of the presentations that you've seen today, one of the things that you've seen these days, and uh, bring it back home. And one of the first things that you can do is say, "Hey, I've been there. I will tell you what I've learned." to start from there. Um, I think they will be available by Monday next next week. I hope so. Uh, if it's not Monday, it's going to be Tuesday. You sure? Right? I think that that's the agreement. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, I have uh, one question. Uh, in, uh, I'm from, coming from Japan and uh, in Japan, uh, there are some uh, meta user group named the Cloud Mix. We are uh, talking about uh, every cloud solution, including OpenStack and Cloud Stack, and so on. So we are very easy to start the uh, OpenStack community be because uh, there are such uh, meta communities already. Uh, and how about uh, any other countries? Other countries also talking about uh, such a uh, all of the cloud technologies or only all. Is there any such a meta user group or only in Japan, such a mixed user groups? So are you asking in, in, in other countries? Yeah, 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 sort yeah, of yeah. overall, uh, over, you, overarching groups? Them, yeah. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's one, one useful thing about that I see about meetup.com is if you do join up, it will, if you put your interests in, it will point you to other groups on meetup.com locally. Yes, yes. 
think they're very easy to start uh, new projects and new initiatives. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, submitting submitting uh, papers or submitting proposals to speak at some other other local events is one other way of of um, getting the OpenStack name out there to people that are ready to to host the event. Through, I mean, I, I, there were uh, very interesting suggestions so far already. Um, definitely, we need to work on this best practice to promote the cloud in developing countries. This is something that is um, not just developing countries. I know, I know Italy would <laughs> would be that would be good material. Um, I know a lot of places where the cloud, and I think even the U.S. It's um, there is um, a. I don't think it's really, it's very common. Um, there are still a lot of people that don't understand cloud and that's normal. So it's our job to, to educate them. Um, It's open stack. And uh, yep. <laughs> we have a great chance. <laughs> ratio after you have uh, uh, translated the documentation for OpenStack. I think the problem is that um, people is not using OpenStack because they do not know, know what cloud is. So that's the first problem is to, to figure out the cloud. Yeah. The second point is that in Italy, people think that cloud is virtualization and virtualization is VM. So they think it's SQL and it's not that SQL. It's not just Italy. I mean, I, I said it's all, there are lots of places also in the U.S. that have the same the same problems, the same the same miscomprehension, misunderstanding. So, um, regarding the point of translation of the documentation, I think it's something that we have to do it regardless of the whether we get to the um, not just documentation. Also, we, we talked about error messages and all of that stuff. Um, if it's more accessible, more people will feel less intimidated to buy the technology and go, even if they, yeah, sure, they need to understand English somehow, but not the 100 people that will be operating and, and deploying. Maybe one person on the team is the, 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 the one that will write the bug report in English, in proper English, but everybody else on the team um, can, can, keep op, uh, can keep ignoring I think it's a it's a it's a good idea to have documentation, and it's not a big effort. I think it ca should be like we said. It should be something like an exercise for for newcomers. Um, people have like ten minutes uh, or uh, an hour to spare on a Sunday afternoon, and they can do something relaxing. Can you, can you, in 
imagine if this translation should be the whole implementation, or you can imagine that step by step. Uh, step by step, yeah. We yeah, step by step, and and we have tools to do that. I mean, I've uh, i when I was at Twitter, I saw the the whole UI, the whole the implementation of Twitter. The, everything is crowdsourced. Everything is translated at piece by piece, um, and there are tools that help you do all all that. So. It's really not an excuse. I don't think we have a good excuse not to do it. <laughs> so is there kind of a mature uh, translation factor in the way that which instructions are conveyed? Not yet. Uh, uh, we talked about it. I mean, there was a discussion not that, uh, not too, yeah, rec fairly recently so about so isolating and putting error yeah. codes instead of. Maybe you can steal some code. Definitely, it's an example. I, I just, I love to work with that. Yeah. You want to have the most translated document so that we can start from there. Yeah, I'm sure Transfix does it. I will look into it and uh, definitely I will work with him. Uh, another question is on the case study slash references. So you know when when we sell this, I mean, we we, we give this to the the, the, the communities in uh, in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. We gotta show them where is a similar user in other country. Where where can I find them? Uh, the the case studies for users, um, they're on openstack.org slash user stories. There will so be more. There's a schedule as part of the uh, awards planning to put a certain amount up there per month under the case studies. Yes. Yes. And the cool thing is that we already have the, the, the CMS already supports translation. We just didn't have the resources to go now to do it. And now we're ramping up with uh, hiring people at the foundation. So we'll eventually we will get there. It's in the definitely in the plan. Is there anyone from the US in the room? No? One. Good. I, Two. As I see it, as I see it, we in this room are the future of OpenStack. Um, it is, as I read the quote of yours, a cloud compressed world. Um, it does present a unique opportunity for all sorts of nations to build all sorts of based around this technology to couple themselves from proprietary solutions and I know this is very popular in, in China for those of us who are there the opening of the conference there was was uh, that OpenStack will smash the monopoly of the Western cloud providers and that was a government guy that came out and said that um, so what I'd like to see is just keep feeding the ideas back up to us and we'll, we'll just keep there's Tim here, there's Wei, there's Peter, there's Ed, obviously yourself, um, to push it into the world and get internationalization of this, this um, wonderful technology down there. Because we, as I said, this is the future. This is what we have in front of us. OpenStack uh, and uh, other open source, we can uh, compete uh, in the Western uh, IT giants uh, through open uh, op source. In the cloud computing area, I think uh, if we in the uh, next five years, if you want to do cloud business or do the uh, virtualization layer business, you must employ open source, OpenStack. Uh, uh, or you will be Uh, you or you're being knocked out by the by the market dominated by VMware. So I I think this is a very great opportunity. 
for, 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 for developing countries in North China. <laughs> well, I think you can wrap it up and uh, thank you for allowing me to uh, make suggestions. And I think it was uh, good to talk to you and to listen to your stories. And uh, my, my references are up there. Feel free to uh, send me an email and uh, I'll reach out to me on IRC. I'm usually up on uh, Pacific time in the US. So I'm available. Thank you.